hi guys what's up good people it's your girl here bridget diana with a new new video so guys as you can see today i'm at the mombasa butterfly house it's a very beautiful place guys today i've come to learn about butterfly their life cycle their environment and how they beautify our beautiful environment so guys please come along with me and we are going to start with this part so guys here we are joined with our guide today uh, he's going to tell us his name. So, what's your name? Okay, my name is Jasper. I'm just working with the Mombasa butterflies, and I'll just be briefing you about the butterflies. Okay, can you kindly tell us a brief history of this place and how it came to be? Okay, first, Mombasa Butterfly House is an, uh, the tourism facility that exhibits the coastal biodiversity and also showcases the the butterflies and. Advocating, advocating against cutting down the trees and motivating farmers to continue planting trees around the coast. The Butterfly House is an initiative that was brought in in the year 2012 when it was campaigning against cutting down the trees of, around the Arabuko Sokoke Forest and the Shimba Hills, the Mangrove Forest and the Kaya Forest to be to be brief. Now the it was an it was an initiative that was started by the United Nations after after it realized that the cost the cost of biodiversity was was going down, mm -hmm. like the trees were being cut down, and then we we just went went ahead and and advocated a campaign campaigned against cutting down, cut down the trees, and we saw it could be better that we educate farmers on how to breed butterflies and then. They they get an alternative income because after all they are cutting down the trees for settlement and burning charcoal, which could bring them income. So guys, as you've heard from our guide Jasper, this is a place where butterflies are nurtured and given safe space. Also, they campaigned for uh, planting trees because guys, you know. Butterflies will be where there's no pollution, where there's good and fresh air and where there are plants, where they can feed and everything. So guys, come along as we take a tour at the Mombasa Butterfly. Cheers. Okay. So guys, here we can get a caterpillar. Let's check. Oh. Okay. Now, butterfly. A butterfly is a day flying insect, which normally goes through complete metamorphosis, which is for four complete stages. The first stage is the, is the eggs, and the second stage is the caterpillar larva. Mm -hmm. The third stage is pupa, and finally we have the adult. Mm -hmm. Now, after the butterfly hatches, it just it gets out of the flight cage. So, so they can get go fly around to find food and partners for mating. Mm -hmm. And after mating, a butterfly takes a few hours, and then the female butterfly look for a host plant, which most com mostly a, a lime plant, okay. where it can lay its eggs. Okay. Which the, the main purpose of looking for the host plant is just for the for the purpose of the caterpillar to find food for growing, because the main purpose of the caterpillar is for feeding and growing. Now the the first stage whereby is eggs, the eggs the butterfly lays its eggs and on the on the around the host plant and they take the eggs take three to five days to hatch, wow. an average of three to five days to hatch, and after hatching the the caterpillar the egg the eggs turn into larva or caterpillar which is the second stage. Now the caterpillar is the longest stage in the butterfly life cycle, which is it may take from between three weeks to five weeks wow. and then caterpillar the caterpillar has got goes through five five stage five stages which are called which which starts which are just like shedding the exoskeleton mm -hmm. now in so this is a caterpillar at which stage this is a caterpillar in, in its fourth stage and the normal when it's easy to 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 define whether it's it's in its fourth stage because in its fourth stage it's in j shape Oh, J shape, yeah, I can see. And then we have another one here, but it it looks alike with the tree. I don't know. 
So which stage is this? Uh, this is the final stage of the no. This just the uh, next uh, next stage next butterfly stage is the pupa, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, immediately after the after the uh, the caterpillar the caterpillar final stage because in the final stage of the caterpillar, the caterpillar sheds his exoskeleton completely and stops feeding, and but it it already stored food which it could be using it will be keeping it alive and developing into a, a live butterfly. When it's, you know, it's still in a, in a caterpillar in first, second, and third stages. Okay. Okay. So what's this? What's this place? This a uh, butterfly flight cage where we normally keep our pupa in the flight cage so the butterfly can hatch free from predators. Okay. We can see. Yeah, can see. Wow. Ooh, one has flown away. <laughs> So like these are how many pupas? No, this this people are just numberless because we normally buy these people from the there's a project here down down at the Arab because okay, called the Kipepeo project okay. whereby farmers take farmers bring bring their the pupa mm -hmm. after they breed them at their homes and then they sell the pupa. The pupa the most there are just there are more many the most common pupa inside here which are just which are in green, which are green in color, are the, are the papilio pupa. Okay. Male flying handkerchief. Mm -hmm. Male has uh, has these extended tails, oh. but the female does not have these tails. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, we have learned about the four stages of a butterfly. That is egg, larva, pupa, and a butterfly. So, uh, beside me is a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. And this is the closest I've ever come to a butterfly. Whoops, it has flown away. So guys, at this place, it's so amazing. It has beautiful plants, beautiful pl flowers. What a This now, this shows the cost of the This is a we have that gazelle. Yeah. What's the name of that gazelle? That's an antelope. Oh, antelope. Sabo antelope. Which forest is that? But this one is quite a while and this. So we are at the center of the Mombasa Butterfly House and we have a big beautiful fountain here and we, are, we want to know what is the purpose of the of the fountain apart from just providing water to the to the butterfly so just jasper is going to explain this to us okay so why put a fountain here being in the coast region it tends to be very hot during during dry season and the butterflies tend to be looking for a cooler environment and environment away from noise no, they are just pollu. They are various. No they are just. There's a noise which is not good, and they are, they are soft noise and hard noise. Mm -hmm. the, the fountain produces some water, some hissing sound of water because water is turned on, and it, it flows, flows. Why was so ill? Sema amas juni wa enga makina na sema. Mziki, ah, mziki ni sabuni ya roo. Kwa hivo, kama vile nye wadadamu na chieza kwa mziki, mnafraya mziki pia, <laughs> butterflies wanapenda mziki. It's funny guys, I've never, 
guys there are a lot of things to learn about butterflies so you should visit mombasa butterfly house imagine butterflies can dance and they love music what that's so amazing so guys Please, when you come Mombasa, Nairobi, Kila Mahali, Kujeni Mombasa Butterfly House. This is the place to be. Learn about butterflies, their lifestyle. These things are but lifestyle. <laughs> I never knew. So, guys, Karibuni Mombasa Butterfly House. Hakuna, hakuna tumbo. Hakuna nini? Mosquini. Little predators. Mm. The color is zuri. Color maroon, maroon, maybe. These beautiful creatures will die after two to three weeks, two to four weeks. And when they die, they choose a better place here in this green succulent plant. This beautiful plant. They come and rest in peace. Oh, the this one is dead. Dead. Rest in peace. Well, so <laughs> The gift shop.
Nunua kofia ama nunue vipepeo. Hmm? Look at our cups. Angalia is the cups. Sai cup ni? 600. 500.